all else fails, I'll be playing in the big No Limit game with Chris Moneymaker tonight. It's a 5 5 10 with big bomb pots, 50 to $100 straddles, allegedly. Uh, Mike Pastali is uh, the host of the game, local crusher, and a bunch of, uh, from what I can hear, action players. So the swings are going to be big. You're not going to want to miss this one. You got more chips being delivered to the table, it seems. Yeah, so that's going to be, I feel like, a common th theme, like, all night. So Jeff Bosky has entered the table, seat one. So I, I Okay, so new some. challenger arrives. So after seven hours of play in the $600 Stones main event, I bag up 92000 and hop right in the Postal and Pals game. The blinds are 5, 5, 10 with a 25 straddle, and I look down at aces. Damn, I love aces. At first, I think they're trolling me. What are the odds I get aces firsthand, first to act? Got to make it 85 to go. We get a call from Brian. Jason B is contemplating 5-4 off for some reason. He puts in the call on the button. Sits down, gets aces for Jeff. Easy game. Yeah. You kind of always wonder, you're like, these guys that stream or, you know, just crush these games, like, are, are they on just the a little bit of the good side of variance? Right. Yeah, just a little bit. And he raises 85, and he's like, wait a minute. Uh, how many of you guys are calling? Flops top set with a flush draw. Brian has a flush draw there. 435 in the pot. Looks like Boski started with about 1,000. Brian's flush draw probably the only thing that can stick around after this street. Yep. So 180, is that 180? 180 is going to be his bet. Oh, yeah. And Brian races. <laughs> he says, I'm going I'm to welcome you to Sacramento, Rook. Boski saying, I knew I should have started with more. <laughs> and Jason is thinking about this. He's like, can he, I though? get the I don't five think through? Is. And Postle is like, oh, yeah, I'm folding. And at this point, both three ninety five to call. Yeah, this is yeah. This is the well. I guess I shove. Yeah, and it's, and of course Brian's going to call at this point. Now the again the conversation leads to how many times do you want to run it? Oh, he's got the straight outs too. We decided to run it three times to increase our chances of hitting the bad beat jackpot, hoping for quads versus straight flush. And so they're still talking. Three times. Looks like three times. There we go. Somebody's getting hurt. <laughs> Somebody's getting their, their, their stack trimmed just a little bit. Queen. Bus, Boat gets wins it. The first one. Well, I guess he could have hit the two of, two of uh, spades. Wow. Queen again on the turn. Boski gets two of them, and it also burns one, one of the, of the flush out. outs. And Boski get, gets them all. Wow. And Brian is stacked again. How's that for or a first doubles hand? another person up. All right. Boski's ready to play. Yep. Unbelievable first hand. Aces, top set. Holds three times. Let's gamble. A few hands go by. The table's very loose and talkative. People are drinking wine, having a good time. We have a raise to 55 from Moneymaker. Queen nine off. Couple calls. Of course, I'm going to defend the ace five suited. Could three bet, but I'd rather play a multi-way pot. Try to flop a flush draw, wheel, trips, stuff like that. Ace five suited is the new aces. Of course, we're going to check around to the original raiser, Chris Moneymaker. We got the nut flush draw, checks to Moneymaker, who bets 100. Could check raise, but the jack-10 flop is very sticky. People are going to hit this with a ton of their range, especially their pre-flop raising range. I just put in the call. That's fine. See what the other players behind me do. Want to keep in all worse flush draws, even straight draws. We have good equity versus that. We're looking to cooler somebody. A deuce on the turn is not what we're looking for. My options are check call, check raise, or lead out. I think Moneymaker views me as very tight and kind of scared money in this big of a game. So I'm going to use my image and bet out. 
Let's go big. Let's deny equity from hands like ace-king, ace-queen, king-queen, maybe even some 10x combos. And I bet $400, making my own price to see a river, taking the lead and money quickly folds. We take it down with ace-high. A great start to the session. We now have $2,500 in front of us from our original $1,000 minimum buy-in. We can always add on if needed or rebuy. We're feeling great. Let's keep the momentum going. Jason B. looks down at the 9-8 offsuit, raises it to 40. Chris Moneymaker's having none of that. Makes it 150 in the cutoff with the 9-deuce off. This is an action game. Folds back to me and I looked out at Ace King. I can't believe my eyes. Am I about to put 2,500 in the middle? Seems like a good spot. Flatting seems a little bit weak. Let's put in the 4X, 4-bet, Ace King offsuit out of position. $600 to go. We're going to ride the momentum. Let them know we're here to gamble. Jason B. not loving it with the 9-8 off. Not much to think about there. I, someone comments that I'm playing like a crazy man. That's good. I want them to think I have that image. Jason folds and Chris laughs, talks to Jackass, shows the nine deuce, said he three bet it for him and folds. We pick up another 200 uncontested and we now have 2.7K. I love Stone's live stream. What a great action game. About an orbit later, the $20 straddle's still on. There's a bunch of limpers, and it's back to me. With pocket queens, of course, we're going to bump this up. The question is how much? Uh, up to 200 is reasonable, a 10x, but I just make it 175. Looking just to get one call or take it down pre, that's fine. The table is pretty crazy, so who knows what can happen here. I don't think anybody's trapping. Let's get that value. Jason B. quickly calls with pocket sixes, a reasonable set mine with stacks being so deep. Moneymaker folds. Jackass is in for 20. What's another 155 with the 10-7 off? He's playing 80% of hands. He is action. We're three ways to a flop. No ace or king, please. There's the ace. Two clubs. We don't have the queen of clubs, which is a bad thing. If we were to turn a queen, 50% chance it's going to make the flush. So we check it over to see what happens. Jason quickly goes for chips. He's happy about it. The worst hand he could have in this spot is a flush draw. More likely he has an ace, pocket fives, pocket sixes, maybe even five six suited. Quickly bets 265. Not loving this. Might check call, but then Jackass comes in with the call. He can have any ace. He can have any random two pair combo flush draws. Facing this action, just not loving it with queens. I take my time to try to get some reads. Maybe they'll give away something, ask a few questions. Don't think I want to turn my hand into a bluff, and I don't want to overcall queens three-way. Try to liven up the game, laugh at the unfortunate flop, and we lose $175 with pocket queens. We got away cheap because Jason flopped a set. There is no $20 straddle this time. Only one person, Bear Hat, refuses to straddle. A real big nit. I berate him later, and he eventually leaves the game. Everyone limps for 10. I look down at pocket kings in the big blind, pump it up to 75. Uh, in retrospect, I should go a lot bigger because these people don't really care. And we get a five way flop, and there's the ace. I love kings, especially when an ace flops. Two spades, don't have a spade. Don't see much reason to bet into four people on this flop, so we check it to see what happens. Action checks around two. Chris Moneymaker on the button. What's he going to do? He's got the straight draw. He's got the flush draw. I'm guessing he's going to put in the bet. He bets 175, not loving this spot with pocket kings. And we lay it down. Odds are someone has an ace. I'm guessing Moneymaker has an ace. Naga is not a believer. Not going to fold this time. And we're out. As you can see, I'm now enjoying my massage, counting my profits. It is only $1 per minute in California for tableside massages compared to the $2 per minute in Las Vegas. Much better value. 
Here's the VPIP stats. That's right. Voluntarily put money in pot. Jackass with 82%, and I'm somehow the nit at the table with 26%. Eight-handed, pretty crazy action. Let's play a $50 bomb pot. $400 in the middle. Pretty high stakes. Not used to playing cash games this big, but you just got to treat it like a game. Treat it like play money. Object is to win all the chips. Get the high score. Don't let the money affect you when you're playing a game bigger than normal. I'll give you 75 for him. I'll give you 75 for him. Oh, fuck. He's saying no. Uh, Alright, I'll give you 75 for him. Those are, those are nice red chips. So what's going on here? We're going to do a bomb pot. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm just kidding. I put my money in already. I'm, I'm due to win one. Me too. I just need a five. I'm due to win five. Bring a five. Bring a five. Seven. Five. All out. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> baby. Run it out. Wherever we go. On you? On you. Sure. I'm a slow play. You like nice. tournaments? You like poker? Come see some raw, unedited, or... Poorly edited footage. <laughs> Lightly edited. Yeah. All on my iPhone. No equipment. Just keep it raw. All right. So this is a bomb pot. 973 on the flop. Yeah. And we got Bear Hat with uh, nothing. So you have a pair of threes and a dream. A dream, and it checks through. Step one of the dream. And look at this, two pair for you. Mm, yeah, seems good. And straight for Naga. Seems not good for me. <laughs> seems less good. But again, in Flush these draw for bomb Jason pots, well. because everybody has uncapped ranges, you have to be worried about, one, just better two pair, but also the straights are out there. There is no unlikely hand. Yeah, so I want to bet for protection and value get from my two pair here. So I think around half pot, 200 should be good. And uh, play rivers accordingly, hopefully hoping for a brick river. Yep. Jason calling with his flush draw here. Yep. And also gut Got shot to the jack. Gutter, yeah. It'd be interesting to see if Naga just calls. Looks like he's, so he's gonna raise to about 700. That's correct. And you have a decision. Yeah, I don't beat really any value like only worse two pairs with seven three and i think he might bet he was going to bet that on the flop so unless he's semi bluffing with jack x of spades i think i'm just beat by a uh, jack 10 or uh even five six yeah the question really you have to ask yourself at that point is am i looking to boat is my boat going to be good you know the majority of times when i do boat and then can i get his stack yeah, and I just couldn't justify calling another 500 out of position to to try find out where I'm at. We're not deep yeah. enough, and he could still possibly bluff me off it on various rivers. So it hurt, but I felt pretty proud of myself for folding two pair. I never win bomb pots, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard to win. And guys, so, such a so important to win those when yeah. this keeps getting bigger and bigger. There's 400 in the middle, 500 in the middle. This is the only one that's not working right. <laughs> Hmm. Jason calls the $45 with the 9-6 offsuit. <clears throat> Bear Hat calls with a suited 10-8 and Naga waking up with Ace King. Going to make it, what, 245 And Moneymaker right uh -oh. behind him with Ace King as well. We can definitely get a 3-bet going on. And it'll probably be like 600 bucks, 700 bucks. Wow, and, and Jackass right behind him with King Queen. I think he, Jackass got gamble, but I don't even know if he's got this much gamble. No, does make the fold. Postle is thinking thoughts with the 5 4. And he thinks for sure that Naga would not be likely to fold here. So he's going to get. At least two to one on his money. Apostle does call. All said, in. Yep, he does rip. I think Moneymaker is going to call here. And what does Apostle do? Oh, God. Set. Is this the. I think this is the one. 
I think this is crazy. Apostle called as well. 11.2k pot. Three way uh -oh. all in. Ace uh -oh. king. Ace king. 5 4? Apostle is hoping to channel his the power of Apostle thinking. And he's like, oh yeah, you guys got ace king? I got five four. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably ace deuce three. I, I, I said oh, I was I gonna moneymaker yep. the moneymaker <laughs> with the moneymaker. There we go. He can't moneymaker the moneymaker. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. don't do it. Oh, he's got so many fucking. <laughs> I outs. thought I flopped a pair right. when you said, oh my too. god. Five or six. Come on, Tim, <laughs> Diamond. Four, five, right. or six Just takes play. down Ace King. Go. Diamond. Yeah, go. Tim, big Diamond. Big Diamond? You want a big, big diamond? diamond? Yeah, I want a Big Diamond. Wow. Seven. I still got out. Still yeah, he still has six, plenty four, of five. Get high. Yeah. Live stream ends, and I profit about $700. Of course, I ran pretty hot at the beginning. Uh, a few big pairs got cracked by bad flops, but I lost the minimum and was kind of card dead at the end. Overall, a great time at Stones. Let's continue the party and play off stream. We still got a uh, jackass. Could start Tilton. He's playing 80% of hands. Moneymaker's been drinking heavily. He's getting a little out of control. Let's see what happens with blind debts. 5, 5, 10, 25. I think we're seven handed. Jackass limps the button. Postal limps the small blind. I complete the big blind with Queen 10. And the other two guys call. Flop comes Jack, Jack, 9, Rainbow. No clubs. I have Queen 10 of clubs. So I bet out $60. Should give me some credit. Everyone folds but Jackass on the button. The turn is a 5. Complete rainbow board. Hopefully we can get him to fold some ace highs. Maybe even call with worse 10-8 type draws. So I bet 175 and he calls. The river is the river of dreams. It's a king. If he has a jack, he's always gonna bet this. If he has a nine, he's never, I wouldn't say never, but he's less likely to call a big bet for me. So let's go for the check raise. I check. And he quickly bets 315. I don't think there's many boats in his range because I think he's going to raise Jack-9, King-Jack, Pocket Fives, all these hands, Pocket Jacks. So when he makes it 315, I have about uh, 1,300 behind. So I just check raise to 815, make it an easy 500 more for him to call. And he puts in the call, cursing the river. So that's great. He's a real wild man, as you've seen on the stream. And he shows Jack-5 offsuit. The Jackson-5, the Motown. He's got the boat. He didn't put me all in. I would have called off the last 500. And we lose a huge pot with blind Zets. 5, 5, 10, 25. I haven't reloaded yet. A few hands later, I'm under the gun effectively. Seven-handed with ace-queen. I uh, definitely could raise it to 75 or 100 here, but that's going to get three, maybe four calls. I think our better play is going for the limp jam with a, the effective 20 blind stack. I limp, two more limps, and Chris Moneymaker, after someone says, let's play a family pot, makes it 125. Jackass flat calls and it's back to me. I'm all in, everything's going to plan. $490. Folds back to Moneymaker. Make it 1200. Oh my God. I don't wanna, I don't wanna give it You a wanna trip. get a side pot brew, huh? <laughs> No, I don't. You get a little sad pop brewing, do you? Just trying to... Trying to isolate. I yeah. I thought to myself, too. I was like, I can call up to like 1190 with this hand. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Nice bet. Thank you. You made it the perfect amount. If somebody could just give me 10 bucks. Anybody yeah. out there. Can I show one card? <laughs> do you like an equity share? You want to see one piece? card? Hold on, no. I'll show you one. No. You can pick it. You can look at it. He's all in it. I can't look right now because... Does, does it matter? Does it bother? Well, you? it would bother him if, if you turn it like a seven over. I'm like, fuck it, I call and I snap him. You know what I mean? Change the action. Yeah, you're right. you're right. I mean, that's that's, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah, because your money could be part of. Yeah, I've got pocket yeah. eights and he shows an eight right now. I'm fucking. I'm, I'm probably jamming. True story. That's fair. Good call. Well. Twelve. I hate folding, man. 
man. Where's the fold button? Just fold the I fucking can't. hand. Dude, you're, you're, you're the, you and Mike Possible. <laughs> why can't you do it? Because Mike knows he's hitting. That's why. He says, I'm going I know, to but yeah, he I does. I call when I feel like I'm going to... They say you got a feeling, right? Hit. They say it. Fourth That's pair. what they say. I don't feel anything right now. Feel yeah. numb. You feel numb? <laughs> I can't feel nothing. <laughs> That's not good for me. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, guys. One sec. No, you're you're just a sick, sick individual. How much should we put on the side here? Should we put some on the side? Four ninety. Yeah, well, yeah, already, already some on the side. Twenty dollars. Oh, you want to see my hand? Can't do it, man. Can, can oh, I see your hand? No, not not yet. What's your jam? How much? Like, do, how much do you have? Yeah, Four ninety. Twenty dollars. You have 3,000? You can You can bet up to 3,160 if you like on the flop. I can bet up to that much. To that That's much. so fucking nice of you. I will bet $880. Nice, baby. 3,160. Cool. All right. What do you got? I have an over pair. Nice. I just had a flip. So dumb. It'll be fun. One turn. Go. That's Seven. not really that good for me. Yeah, it is. It's a heart. Mm. Oh, that's good for me. Queen's wow. four. Oh, that's good for me. Oh. Oh. Case queen. Oh. oh, you have eight queen. That's good. Case queen. Yeah. yeah. I run my initial $1,000 buy-in up to $2,700. And after a few unfortunate hands, we get felted all the way down to zero, a $1,000 loss.